There's a blood moon, a blood super moon, this week. If you're in Eastern Daylight Time, it's going to be on the 27th. If you are utilizing Greenwich Mean Time, it's on the 28th. And this lunar eclipse, this super moon that's going to be more bright and closer to the Earth, this is going to be this lunar eclipse in Aries. So it's a very exciting event. I'm Pastor Rosemary, Astrology Angel. Thank you for joining us. This is an Angelic Horoscope transmission for the week of September 27th through October 3rd. And we are now going to get into the specific events we can look forward to this week and we're going to go over at the end of this transmission first a little uh, rite, a biblical rite you can do to bring blessings upon yourself from the mighty Archangel Gabriel and we're going to make it specific to each sign regarding the house that will be affected by this blood moon event, this blood super moon event that's going to make it very intense indeed. Also this week on the 30th there is a Mercury retrograde conjunct Sun. That's Mercury retrograde in Libra conjunct Sun in Libra event on the 30th of September. So we're going to get started and then we're going to again at the end we'll give you for each sign how the blood moon, the blood super moon is going to affect you. Okay, here we go. Now this combination of events, of planetary and astrological events this week, it will cause an intense and intensifying situation where there are going to be crescendos reached, generated and reached, like a wave, generated and then peaking, allowing for excitement to be productive rather than pain. So you want to make sure you get blessings from the mighty Archangel Gabriel, who is the Archangel who rules over the moon. You want to make sure that it's a blessing for you. Because it will be a blessing to some people, and for others it will be more of a judgment. So specifically, again, if you're utilizing Eastern Daylight Time, it's the 27th of September. It's the 28th of September if you're utilizing Greenwich Mean Time. And this is a blood moon, a lunar eclipse in Aries. It's a full moon, a lunar eclipse in Aries. Okay, that's Aries the Ram. And we'll give you the specifics for that again later on in this transmission. It's a very exciting event. Okay, this blood supermoon in Aries, what will happen is the intensity of the blood moon with the forcefulness of a supermoon occurring in the sign of Aries the Ram is sure to be a great blessing to some and a great judgment to others. So you need to make sure that you focus these sacred blood supermoon beams in your favor coming from Gabriel. You want to make sure you focus these moonbeams in your favor so that it's a blessing to you and not a judgment. That's the, that's the focus. Now on the 30th, we have Mercury retrograde in Libra, conjunct Sun in Libra. What that's going to cause is banter about fairness and justice that will abound, albeit leaving room for nostalgia as well as religious considerations based upon logic, predicating that the reasonable prevail. So what does this mean? This means that people are going to want, because of this event of Mercury retrograde in Libra conjunct Sun in Libra on the 30th of September, it, people want to be fair and just and make sure everybody's very fair. But they're going to want to have room f for the considerations of those who are either nostalgic, old-fashioned, or religious or have spiritual systems or religious systems or cultural systems that demand a little uh, of a more old-fashioned or nostalgic flavor. You understand. So they're going to try to make sure that these various aspects are included 
so that everybody can have uh, a way to feel that they're being respected and represented and treated fairly, everyone. That will take very specific considerations. So this, this event will be something that will make everybody feel a little bit better. Now to get to your angels, your planetary angels and the zodiac angels that are affected in these events, again with the blood supermoon in Aries on the 27th Eastern Daylight or the 28th Greenwich Mean Time, what we have is the moon planetary archangel Gabriel sprinkles sacred blood on the altar of Aries, the zodiac angel Machidael. So this is going to be very intense. And for the September 30th event, this is the Mercury retrograde in Libra conjunct Sun in Libra. This is Mercury or the Mercury planetary angel, the mighty archangel, the divine physician Raphael, comes into agreement with the mighty solar angel, the planetary angel of the Sun, which is the archangel Michael. So there's an agreement between Raphael, the Archangel, and Michael, the Archangel. Okay, now we're going to get specifically to your blood moon, specific zodiac angels, and your specific house that's special for each of you, and how you can bring the blessings of the Archangel Gabriel to you with the sacred sprinkling of the sacred blood to make it a blessing to you rather than a judgment. So again, this is for the blood supermoon in Aries, lunar eclipse in Aries astrological event. Again, on the 27th Eastern Daylight Time or the 28th Greenwich Mean Time. Again, this is a blood supermoon in Aries. The intensity of a blood moon, again, with the forcefulness of a supermoon occurring in the sign of Aries, the ram is sure to be a great blessing to some and a great judgment to others. Make sure you receive the blessings of the Archangel Gabriel through the Aries Zodiac Angel Mechidael by focusing your personal intentions upon your Zodiac Angel and astrological house. And you can check the description box for some of the specifics. And we're going to link you to the Zodiac Angel Blood Moon Ritual that we've prepared for you ahead of time. You can click on that. It's a, it's a lovely uh, blog that we've written for you and set up specifically for this event. And you can check that in the description box. And we can uh, also refer you to a video that we prepared for you for this great event. And you want to add what we're going to give you for the magical evocation of Gabriel and Mechidael to your specific sign as well. If your Aries is going to be a double whammy. So this is specific to each house and to each, to each house we're going to now go over for you. Okay, now first, before we give you the specific house and angel for your house, we want to give you the general impact of Gabriel having a sacred blood super moon in the sign of Aries in the territory of Mechidael. Okay, the moon is the planet. Of course, we call the moon and the sun planets in the ancient uh, Rosicrucian Kabbalah system. So the moon's angel, the lunar angel is Gabriel. The archangel Gabriel you want to invoke and you want to utilize the incense myrrh and if you want to make it very sacred for the sacred blood moon, you can utilize the super moon in Aries, dragon's blood. You can utilize dragon's blood and myrrh together. And the Hebrew letter to utilize is the Hebrew letter gimel, means camel in English. The psalm you want to use is Psalm 119, verses 17 to 24. That's for the Hebrew letter gimel. Now we have also, which you want to invoke, is the Aries Zodiac Angel Melchidael and the incense to use is pine needles. You can use other Aries incense if you prefer. We like pine needles. And you can utilize the Hebrew letter He and Psalm 119 verses 33 to 40 for the Hebrew letter He. All right. 
you can also add to this the correspondences to your sign and the associations with the affected astrological signs we are now going to go over for you. Of course, we're going to start with Aries. But again, each of these will be very specific to your zodiac angel and to the house affected by the blood moon. So we're going to go over this for you now. For Aries, Machidael, the zodiac angel Machidael, the blood supermoon is a blessing, and Gabriel will bless you, the archangel Gabriel, if you go easy on others as well as yourself when it comes to the attribute of judgment in your first house of self and appearances. For Taurus, the zodiac angel Asmodel, the Archangel Gabriel, this blood supermoon, the blessings of Gabriel, is a blessing if you celebrate the event in, in sacred time and sacred space invoking your 12th house of spirituality. For Gemini, the zodiac angel Ambriel, the zodiac supermoon, this, this supermoon for your zodiac sign specifically in the house or astrological house, this blood supermoon will be blessed by the Archangel Gabriel. It's a blessing for you if you are attentive to people and projects placed on the shelf in your 11th house of your friends and your reputation. For the sign of Cancer the Crab, we have the Zodiac Angel Muriel and the Blood Supermoon and the Mighty Archangel Gabriel's blessings will come upon you if you ease tensions in your 11th house of social standing and fame. So lighten up on yourself and others. Don't be so desperate for social standing and fame and it will be a blessing rather than a judgment to you. For the sign of Leo, the lion, the zodiac angel Virtiel, the blood supermoon and Gabriel, the archangel Gabriel's blessings will bless you if you ease the mind to explore. Just ease the mind and have take a risk and allow yourself, Leo, to explore your ninth house of the meaning of your life, your life path meaning. What is truly important to you, make sure you continue to do what is truly important to you and stop people pleasing. For the sign of Virgo the Virgin, the zodiac angel Hamaliel, the blood supermoon and the mighty archangel Gabriel will bless you with this blood supermoon if you ease your mind with serene thoughts about your eighth house of birth, sex, death, and debt. So you see, Virgo, this is a very intense time for you. This is an intense blood moon for you because the eighth house is intense. It's birth, sex, and death, and debt. You need to ease the mind and have a more serene mind. Okay, Virgo? For the sign of Libra, the scales, Zodiac Angel Zuriel, the blood supermoon is a blessing to you if you allow the blessings of Gabriel to allow you to consider the perks of your seventh house of law and commitment. You need to make a commitment. And with that commitment, you need to try to help whatever you're committed to rather than feeling it's a villain that imprisons you, see it as someone that you can work with. If you don't want to see that as the person that you're, or the establishment or whatever you're working with, whether it be a job or an organization or, or a spouse or whatever, rather than see it as somebody that has to save you or imprison you, see it as someone you can work with and you can both be elevated. That's the key. For Scorpio, the sign of Scorpio, the scorpion, and the zodiac angel Barchiel, the blood supermoon, is a blessing for you if you allow the archangel Gabriel to bless you, if you will renew and invigorate, keep it fun, your sixth house of discipline, health, and habits. So you need to allow the archangel Gabriel's blood moon 
blessings of the sprinkling of sacred blood to help you find a way to make discipline in health and other disciplines in your daily habits something that's yes more disciplined but more fun and you need a refreshment and an invigoration and it will be a blessing to you Sagittarius for the sign of Sagittarius the archer the zodiac angel at Nachiel the mighty Archangel Gabriel will bless you Sagittarius the blood supermoon will be a blessing to you if you let if you allow the whole family if you allow them to get involved or you get them involved the entire family in your fifth house of children and created creative projects creativity so you want everybody to be involved in creative projects you want to be involved in your own creative projects and in those of your children and your grandchildren and you also want them to be involved in yours and that will be how you make this a blessing this blood moon event with the sacred blood of the lamb being sprinkled and not a judgment for the sign of Capricorn the goat the zodiac angel Hanael the mighty archangel Gabriel will bless you and the blood supermoon will be a blessing if if Capricorn if you have a priest or clergy of your faith bless your fourth house of home and family especially important to have your kitchen blessed as well that's the heart of the home so you want to get someone in that's of your faith your spiritual or religious faith to bless your home and family and the hearth of the home which is the kitchen very important for Aquarius the water bearer the zodiac angel Cambriel the mighty archangel Gabriel will bless you and the blood supermoon will be a blessing to you if you relax with a penitent smile when dealing with your third house of transportation and communication so rather if you if you feel that you've done something wrong you can be cheerful and a little bit you can be conciliatory but more to the point you can have contrition you can say you know yeah I, you know maybe I uh, should have done that a little better but let's all get along now and just be friendly you don't even really have to have to say that you apologize for anything because some people worry about that being a legal thing or setting a legal precedent but just know in your heart if you if you wrong someone and be very friendly to them and very generous to them and people will know just by you touching bases with them that all is forgiven so just understand that and this blood moon where the sacred blood of the lamb is sprinkled by the Archangel Gabriel it will be a blessing to you rather than a judgment and all will be well with you for Pisces the sign of Pisces the zodiac angel Amnitziel the Archangel Gabriel will bless the sign of the fish and the blood supermoon will be a blessing if you focus your benevolent intent upon your second house of money and possessions so Pisces this is a really important time for the fish to bless those money finance and property issues so you want to make sure that your focus of all of your religious or spiritual or just your good positive thoughts or sent towards your money your finances your possessions your property and the property of others make sure you do that it will be a blessing to you when the sacred blood of the lamb is sprinkled by the Archangel Gabriel so this is an important time for everyone thank you for joining us ladies and gentlemen this is your weekly angelic horoscope transmission and this one is especially from the Archangel Gabriel this is for the super blood moon I'm past Rosemary astrology angel join us again next week